In this game, I will be asking a popular YouTuber the price of 10 Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Their goal will be to guess the price of each card as closely as possible. For each dollar away they are from the correct answer, they receive a point. As points add up, the lower the prize. Today, we see if your favorite YouTuber can win the $1,000 grand prize. Rhyme Style is a longtime YouTuber with over 1 million subscribers. He is known for his Dragon Ball content, but has always been big into trading cards on his second channel. He even recently began doing Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel content on his main channel. Today we find out if he knows his Yu-Gi-Oh prices. Welcome back to Guess That Price. This is episode 11 with Rhyme Style. It's about time we got Rhyme Style on here. How you doing, man? I'm doing great. I'm going to fail. Okay, all right. So we got <laughs> confidence. That's good. That's what everyone says though, and then some people do really well. Some people do actually fail though. So we'll have to see how, where you fit in that category. I feel like if this is like a year ago, I would do really well in these. Like I've been so anti-prices for like the past year that I just stopped paying attention to prices in general because they, they just do this. It's hard to keep up. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is for sure. All right, let's hop into the first question and see, you know, how you're going to do. Question one, we have Dark Magician Girl Secret Rare First Edition from Legendary Collection 3, Yugi's World. Legendary Collection. Yeah. <laughs> I knew I had to ask you a Dark Magician Girl, and I realized I've asked almost all of them already. Well, so I was waiting for I was waiting for Dark Magician Girl because I figured that's an obvious one, especially for me. Yeah. But Legendary Collection of all, it's like, <laughs> I can tell you Magician's Four, I can tell you Ghost Rare, Ghost Rare Past, <laughs> Legendary Collection. I, I want to say 50 bucks. 50 bucks. Have you ever opened this set before? No. You've never opened Legendary Collection through Yugi's World. I don't think so. All right, so you're locking it in at 50 bucks? Yep. All right, $50 on the Dark Magician Girl from Legendary Collection 3. Rhyme? This thing is $140. When did it go up to 140 bucks? And why do I not know about that? I don't know. I'm surprised you've never opened this set because it's actually a really fun set to open. Legendary Collection 3, it has like the uh, Exodia Secret Rares. It yeah. has like Dark Paladin, Dark Magician Girl. But it's a real, like first edition boxes of this are like $600 now. So it's insane sense. to open. I feel yeah, like so the, maybe the last time I was looking into every different copy of Dark Magician Girl, it was probably 50 bucks is why I'm like thinking it's around that Maybe. Yeah, I mean, it probably was at some point because you've been can around. I, can I show this so off long. my video while we're talking about Dark Magician Girl? Ooh. I'm sure. Ooh. I'm sure. I can't see part. it, but I, I know it's great. Is that your black label? It, it's the back. It's the black label. All right. First yeah, black okay. label Dark Magician Girl in the world, I think. I assume. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty jealous. I don't have any <laughs> black labels, much less Dark Magician Girl. So look, you missed that one by 90 bucks, but you have a black label Dark Magician Girl. So who really cares? <laughs> All right. Question two. We have Harpy Lady Sisters, a rare from Ooh. Retro Pack 1. Hey, what do you know about Retro Pack 1? I know enough about Retro Pack. You and I have opened a little bit too many of those packs. Our very first video together was Retro Pack 1. This is just regular rare. It's just a regular rare. No hollow. Do we know how much those that those three pack like blisters cost now for Retro Pack One? Because remember, I, the, remember we we opened uh, you and I did that opening, and yeah, I felt there bad. There were four hundred back then. Yeah, I felt bad, bad, and bought another one for four hundred afterwards. <laughs> I, I think they're it. more than that, but all I remember is that we bought them for four hundred dollars, and it was very expensive. A Retro Pack One regular rare Harpy Laces. I want to say. I would say 20 bucks. Keep it safe. 20 bucks. All right. So, yeah, I mean, 20 bucks, like not a lot of money, but at the same time, this is a regular, it's a regular rare. rare. So, yeah, it's not it's not supposed to be a lot of money as a regular rare. But if you guys don't know about Retro Pack 1, it is extremely hard to find sealed and even the cards in general. So some of these rares can get pretty expensive. And this one is only $16. I was close. So you are very, very close. I also did not mention that if you get the correct tier, so like you guessed in tier one and it was a tier one, you get a ten dollar credit so you basically guessed plus four dollars there because or plus six dollars gotcha. so you gained money there okay. if you get it exactly right it's plus 25 dollars which that has only happened twice so far so if you do that okay. it'd be insane okay sounds good all right question three rhyme style we have destiny hero starlight rare first edition destroyer phoenix enforcer we i put that in the middle of the name for some reason power of the elements there we go i know this one too but the problem is is i don't know how much the price has changed in the past couple weeks, especially with uh, Fusion Destiny being a three now. Right, where'd you look it up last? Uh, eBay, cause I was buying them. Okay. Cause I remember I bought three of them. Do you have a 10 of this one? Yeah, I do. I oh. pre-ordered three of them from my friend Ty, shout out to Tyree, for 250 Shout out to piece. Tyree. And I remember he got me, uh, so I paid 750 for three and they came out and they were like 400 bucks. Oh, wow. So that was a good deal. I want to say it's 
275 now. 275, 275. Okay, so this would be your first tier three question, if that is correct. Are you locking that in? I'm locking it in. All right, Destiny Hero, Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer, Starlight Rare, first edition from Power of the Elements. This card is... $210. Ooh, kind of close. It's gone down a little bit, actually, mm -hmm. surprisingly. I guess it's just not being used as much anymore, but this card, I I personally think that this card's going to be pretty collectible like in the future. I agree. It's beautiful. Artwork's awesome. And yeah. like it's iconic from mm -hmm. the time when it came out. So I think it's a strong candidate for the future. It's splashable, but the only thing I hate about everything about DPE is just you will always open up with Dasher in your hand. A cool thing. That's a, that's a waste of a card. Yep. Yep. Every single time. And uh, I used to like those because they were $20 rares from Power of the Elements that they reprinted them. So her Power of the Duelist, I should say. But no more. They're now like 50 cents because they reprinted them. All right. Not too bad. Next question. Number four we have. Do not miss Dark Witch super rare from Tournament Pack 8. Tournament Pack 8. Ooh. <laughs> Have you noticed a theme so far of your four questions? Three out of four. Three out of four. Is it just because they're those special reprint packs? No, waifus. Oh, uh, waifus. <laughs> <laughs> Three out of four. DP, not. Not so much. DP is a waifu, 100%. Okay, yeah, okay. All of them, then. All right. Dunami's Dark Witch Super TP8. I want to say... You know anything about TP8? I know nothing about it. You ever opened it? it? I don't even know what the big hit... What's the big hit in that? The ultra rare? What is the ultra rare in this set? It's, uh... Oh, it's the magical arm shield. That's what it is. And then there's the... There's a big card in here. Is it Harpy's Feather Duster? I think it's Harpy's Feather Duster. Super oh, is that rare. the crazy expensive one? Uh-huh, yeah. Okay, and this, okay, so that gives me an idea. This is the last tournament pack. That gives me an idea, because that that Harpy's Feather Dust is like seven hundred bucks. I want to say Dunamis is. Hey, by the way, you have lifelines, so if you don't know. I you don't know, need lifelines. Do I have confidence. One hundred and fifty. Okay. 150. 150. Yep. Okay. All right. 150 bucks. All right. Do not miss Dark Witch. This is super rare from Tournament Pack 8. Rhyme Style. This card is $395. God. I was off. <laughs> I think the Harpy's Why? Feather Duster is like more than 700. I think it's like a see, thousand something see, at this point. That's the issue because I remember I was trying to buy that Harpy's Feather Duster because that was like the original art as well. I was trying to yeah. buy it back in like, I want to say two years ago. And I remember around right. the time is when it was like 600, 700 bucks, which means yeah. Dunamis around the time was probably like 150. Yeah, wow. it probably, you're probably nailing it from two years ago. But <laughs> yeah, this card, it, it just doesn't really make sense why it's so expensive. And the only thing I can say is old tournament pack. That's the only and thing that, that yeah, really that, makes that's sense. Pretty much why. Low print, people want the lowest uh, print card. Yeah, it makes sense. All right, question five. This will be the halfway point. So far, you've had one tier three, two tier two, and one tier one. Keep that in mind, there's three of each and then right. one bonus. Question five, Area of the Water Charmer Gentle, Starlight Rare First Edition from Eternity Code. Okay, that's, Water Charmer is not as important. I wanna say water is not important. Lena and Dark are the important ones. And those are like, probably like, I wanna say 400 bucks. I yeah. wanna say- but, uh, You got lifelines, don't forget those. What are three lifelines again? Lifelines, which tier you're in, lower or higher, new question. I'll do the lower or higher. Okay, all right, what's your number? 200 bucks. First lifeline, you wanna know if this is more are higher or lower than 200. Rhyme style, this is more than $200. Uh, I'm going to say 275. 275. Lock me Rhyme in. style. Lock me Locked in. Locked in. <laughs> 275. I don't think you've seen the price of this card before, have you? No. Oh, wait a minute. Tier limits. Tier limits would make this more important, wouldn't it? This card is $930. Is it because of tier limits? I don't know. Well, it's from its Eternity Code, so it's an older Starlight, so that, that's a plus. I don't know if it's used or not. Is Eternity Code when it had Appaloosa? Eternity Code had uh, the original access code. It didn't have Appaloosa. That was, um, what was that? Rising Rampage. Okay, Rising Rampage, right. But this was, uh, this was a really good set at the time, and I think it was 20... 20 or early 2021 when it came out okay. but some of the some of the starlights and those older ones are getting insane and i even checked this had like sales at like a thousand dollars like multiple so i'm not i i don't know i think it's part waifu part uh starlight older starlight and then maybe it's actually used that would make sense so it's like I, all three of those I, the I ultimate trifecta it has to be because of tier limits it's probably the ultimate trifecta yeah somebody in the comments will tell us yeah let us know in the comments what this card is used in because it's it's kind of getting in that ip mascarena slash um apolosa range and those are like used waifu and they're like uh starlights that are old and also so it's like the pull rate was were ridiculous in there wasn't it like and of course they're yeah. yeah really hard to pull so basically everything you could want for an expensive card and it makes sense so that one's getting thrown out by the thousand way thousand dollars <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that wasn't even close because i'm thinking like lena's important because light 
Dark is important because of dark. Those are the two main ones used. No one used anything else. Yeah, you said that and I was like, uh oh, this isn't good. He doesn't know this <laughs> card. <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty tough one. But that's okay. We'll throw that one out. All right, question six. Here we go. Let's 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 get a, re a rebound here. We're gonna have a close one on this one. This is Magician's Valkyria Ultra Rare Limited Edition Structure Deck Spellcaster's Command. I I feel like this can't be that expensive. Or can it? People spend prime money on their waifus true i saw this in japan too i remember i was looking at it in english too yeah but i remember how much yen it was it wasn't that much yen 75 dollars. 75 bucks okay magician's valkyria ultra rare limited edition i thought this was a really strange one because it's from a structured deck, so you're thinking it's not worth that much but it's worth 125 dollars it's kind of close kind of close yeah so you're you're in the ballpark but like i don't understand like first of all why is the structure deck have a limited edition card in it that's confusing and then it's also worth a lot of money instead of being like a dollar like some of the other ones. So this is a weird card. I want to say when I saw it in Japan, it was like 11,000 yen, which was uh, with the exchange rate is about 80 bucks right now. 80 bucks. OK, that makes sense. Yeah, this one was this one was kind of weird. I think it had a couple sales at like 100 and then the only listing was 125. So, yeah, that kind of makes sense. All right. Four more questions. You still have two more of your uh, of your lifelines. Question seven. Beautiful headhuntress rare from tournament pack two. Tournament pack two. The second tournament pack ever made. And in regular rare. See, regular this rare. Is, this is always the tricky part because you don't know what these regular rares go for. Tournament right. pack two was PP3 was uh needleworm. PP2 tournament was two is morphing jar. morphing jar. Yeah, morphing jar. This is, I think, the rarest tournament pack, is what people say. This tournament pack too. I don't know the morphing jar is insane. And the last time I looked it up, it was like 700 bucks. At this point, I want to say it's got to be a thousand plus. Yeah. So beautiful head huntress. I'm going to say $65. 65 bucks for a regular rare. What? $65 for a regular rare? Is it possible? It's a hundred dollars. Let's find these cards. I don't know. Who I don't know. But these cards? Yeah, these regular rares out of tournament pack two, if you have not ever like looked these up before, almost all of them are like 50 plus dollars. And some of them like are a hundred or two hundred dollars. This card I remember was up to like 200 at one point. It's insane because none of them insane. have reprints. It's like the only version. So they're extremely expensive. I also just threw myself off because I had something mixed up on my thing and I was very confused there. Okay, I fixed it. Okay, we're good. Uh, we don't have to change any of the quiz. Good. Okay, question number eight. This is an interesting one because you have pulled this card before. Harpy's Pet Dragon Secret Rare from Retro Pack 2. It was a while ago though, so we'll see how the price has changed. $350. $350. He knows it right off the bat. How long ago was it? It was like two years ago when you pulled this? Two years ago. Two years ago. I remember this and I was, I was very jealous because I got the Shining Dragon and then you pulled all the other good secret rares. <laughs> yep. He pulled everything else besides that. I think I just I think I just sold that PSA 8 for like 350 bucks. <laughs> okay. That makes sense. All right. Harpy Spet Dragon Secret Rare from Retro Pack 2. This is one I wanted to ask, but when I clicked in, there was only one listing. This, so this is one I did on sales. So right. the listing was 600 I was like, that's too high. So I checked the sales. There's two sales around $300. So I went with $300 on the price. So you basically nailed it for a PSA 350 300 for the actual raw price. So yeah, pretty close. Not Where bad. Where did You're you right look up the too. price? Because that might have been mine. <laughs> Oh, was it on? Did you sell it on TCG Player? No, I sent I sent it to Z and G. Oh, okay, I got it on on TCG. But yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I figured it, it, it's three fifty. It's usually PSA eight. It's near mint quality. Yep. All right, not bad, not bad. We've got the last two, which we will be asking at the same time. You still got both lifelines, so you can use both of them here if you want to. Okay. Here we go. Question number nine. We have Dark Magician of Chaos Ultra Rare from Dark Revelation Volume 2. And then question 10. We have Harpy Queen Ultimate Rare First Edition from Force of the Breaker. And I get a new one for Dark Magician Revelation. Okay, yes, we will we will change that one. So we're going to use our second to last lifeline and get a new question for question nine. Oh, before we do that, I want to see what you would have guessed on it. And uh, give me a guess and we'll reveal it later what it actually is. A hundred bucks. hundred bucks. Okay. So you would have guessed a hundred dollars. So you think it's in tier one you know on your guess so keep that in mind this replacement will be the same tier as that dark magician of chaos okay. if it if that helps you anything okay the replacement question that we have is wave motion cannon champion pack five super rare near mint <laughs> most of these are like packs that are just never opened wait champion pack five that was spirit reaper wasn't it um was it spirit i don't think it was spirit i think spirit reaper was no it was spirit reaper yeah you're right you're right so i gotta answer them in order right so i answer harpy harpy queen first no you can you can answer whatever you want but i'm not gonna reveal them until you've answered both so you can 
do whatever you want. But you do have, you still have a tier question. So if you should probably use that. If I do the tier question, that's going to only apply to one of these, right? One of the two. Yeah, you have to pick which one. Can I get the tier one for Harpy Queen? Uh, wait, wait, before you do that, before you do that, you're guaranteed to have a tier. You have three tiers, tier twos already. Uh -huh. You have two tier one. So you know one of these two is a tier one and one is random. So yeah. if you still want to do Harpy Queen, I just want you to have that information. You know one of these two is a tier one. One of these two is a tier one. It's got to be the first one. It's got to be Harpy Queen. Because I know Spear Reaper is still kind of desired and kind of pricey and let's do let's do uh tier on wave motion cannon wave motion cannon is tier one. Oh, i should just go my gut go for the heart yeah. <laughs> i messed you up i thought you would i thought you, you did mix them, me because I, I was like are you hitting well, are you hitting i wanted to i just wanted you to know that one of them was tier one well, i think i figured that much i just figured you know with the way you set me up i was like is harpy queen just okay wave motion cannon uh tier uh, tier one is like what one to 75, right? Uh, zero to 100. Zero to 100, okay. Your $100 guess was in tier one on your Dark Magician of Chaos, so. I'm gonna keep it safe and just say 50 bucks for a wave motion cannon. Okay, 50 bucks on that one. And Harpy right, Queen that. Ultimate Rare. See, this is the tricky part because Force of Breaker, can I ask when he, what year it came out? I think Force of the Breaker was, it was GX era late, yes. so it was probably 2007, I think. Ooh, okay. Maybe early 2008, but I'm pretty sure it was 2007. No, it had to be 2007, I think. Yeah. 2007. Harpy Queen. Harpy Queen is kind of an iconic card. I'm going to guess 400 bucks. $400. And I'm only on basing Harpy it Queen. off because I remember Horus is insanely expensive as an ultimate rare. And that came out in 2005. Horus was. Horus might have been 2004, actually. Right, right, uh, right, right, right. Okay, so you're sure on that 400? Yes. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's do the reveal. We'll start with the Dark Mission of Chaos, which doesn't count, but I want you to know how close you were. You shouldn't have switched that question. <laughs> was it 100 bucks? It was 88 bucks. Okay, okay. And that was based off two sales because like the lowest was 175, but it was the only one. So it was two $88 ones. Dark Beginning and Dark Revelation, I know nothing about other than- They're very weird because sometimes the reprints. cards are really cheap. Sometimes yeah. they're not. It's yeah, those are hard. Okay, so now you know you're in tier one. The Wave Motion Cannon, you guessed 50. It's $80. Why? Well, I guess wave motion cannon can still be kind of used, and it's yeah, and it's that super out of champion yeah. pack. Th those are always like kind of expensive, even if they're not like that expensive. Mm -hmm. And finally, the Harpy Queen Ultimate Rare, your final waifu. I gave you like seventy percent waifus in this in this quiz. This card is Ultimate Rare First Edition Force of the Breaker, one hundred and forty five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> What's the original <laughs> rarity for that? This is it. That's it? There's no like uh, like regular rare or ultra rare? Well, it has a regular rare in the same set. Okay, so regular rare. So just an ultimate rare, regular yeah. rare. Uh, yeah, I it's a retail rare. I figured it was like an ultra rare in ultimate rare. Yeah. Therefore, it's, it's, it's a oh, regular no. rare. So like it's actually a really nice like regular rare ulti, like crazy nice. But I was the, the unlimited is 100 and the first set's only 145, which is kind of weird. Normally mm -hmm. they're like a lot more for first edition, but I guess people like this card, but not that much to pay like crazy amounts for it. This is way harder than I thought it was gonna be <laughs> yeah it's I'm pretty gonna lie. when you when you ask me to do this i figure you're gonna have like all the og cards like well, how much is jinzo how much is blue eyes will be <laughs> i'm good with those <laughs> so when i thought when i was doing yours first of all i can't use like duplicates so i there's i right, right. used a bunch of them then i'm like i, I gotta ask rhyme a bunch of waifus that'll just be funny mm -hmm. and like you know, that actually is probably hard to answer all the waifus because you never really know. They could be any price. Like, yeah. maybe it's been overlooked or maybe it's like one people have hyped up to like five times the price it should be. But so it's really hard to keep up with those. So you probably had a tougher quiz than a lot of people, but I just thought it was appropriate. I'm still thinking about how the water charmer is a thousand bucks. That's wild to me. <laughs> yeah, the, the water charmer being a thousand. I mean, that that was a tough one. Uh, that one's getting thrown out for sure because that was, uh, you know, easily your biggest one. I'm going to add up all these. We're going to see where you finished in in, uh, you know, total compared to everyone else. A few moments later. All right, Rhyme, are you ready to hear what you got? <laughs> as ready as I can be. If he is within 1% of the actual, you know, price, you guys will win $1,000. If he's within 5%, $500. If he's within 10%, $250. 25%, dollars Within 50%, $50. So like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know in the comments how Rhyme Style did and who else you want to see on the series. Rhyme, what are you thinking? Which, which tier do you think you're it's in? It's gotta be bad. Okay, it's gotta be bad. All right, okay. The current worst is Farfight, 39% off. Do you think you beat him? No, no, there's no way. All right, let's just go through what it was. The total value of all the cards I asked you is $2,441. Okay. You were off by $824. Mm -hmm. You also got five out of 10 tiers correctly. So you get $50 subtract from that. So you were $774 off out okay. of the 2,441. So we divide that in. You were 31.71% off. So you are not the worst. 
worst. Second Let's to go. worst. <laughs> yeah. So you, hey, you're official. You're like seven percent off. So it's all good. <laughs> you officially won fifty dollars for the viewers of the channel. Rhyme style. Thanks a lot for being here. This was a lot of fun. I like to bring it. in a lot of these cards for you that I, I figured you just even wouldn't even know. So it'd just be funny. So but, this is the part where you send me all those cards now, right? Hey, hey, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll send you all two thousand four hundred forty-one dollars worth. Well, no, that's just the upgraded version. I want PSA tens each. Okay, I'll make sure to grade them all. <laughs> Uh, in like three years when I get all tens, I'll send them to you. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Rob. So anything else you want to say before we leave? Uh, yes. What would this cost? Um, $5 to me. $5. That's a good deal. You should drive a hard bargain. I'm going to have to accept that. Okay. Yeah. You guys might see that in an upcoming video. I will be unboxing my black label dark magician <laughs> girl that I bought for $5 from rhyme style. Rhyme style. Thanks again for being here. Make sure you guys go check out him on YouTube, his second channel on YouTube, which we will try and make him post there <laughs> soon. And then check out his Twitch channel where he streams sometimes as well. And thank you guys for being here. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.